I got this idea that that would be fantastic to have this bike which makes electricity to to lead it lead it up and I, I talked about it with uh, Alan Snedger, the creator of this show from the Station Museum and he got into it and actually he made he made the, the whole thing because I am I don't know nothing about electricity and <laughs> how it works I just thought that there, there should be some relation between you know pedaling and uh, electricity and uh, when when, <laughs> when when we finished it like day before the opening or two days before the opening there was no 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 light however we pedaled there was no light and then something happened and we got to this very strange you know moment that it's only blinking a little bit if you really pedal like crazy you get a little bit you know enlightenment of the of the desire for freedom so very symbolic i think We've seen books displayed in a lot of ways. The first time I've seen that these are books that you can walk on, that elevate you, that actually massage your feet if you're careful. Well, you, uh, books that you have to take care of. With. I mean, and a, and a wonderful piece of uh, horizontal sculpture. I think he's just converted, you know, how many, seven or eight hundred books into a piece of horizontal sculpture without really hurting the books. Yeah. I it, and I think it's a beautiful place and it's a kind of passageway and it's really a passageway for the videos into his deepest thoughts. <laughs> you have a very simple question and I have very long answers. <laughs> the books, yeah, the work called uh, Passage somehow deals with the medium of a uh, book which I love, but I find uh, that uh, its role is uh, maybe uh, uh, fading out so from exclusive medium to the mass medium back to the exclusive medium
uh, I call the project sea drawings, even if it is not only seas, uh, there are also some rivers and, uh, uh, and uh, lakes. And it's, uh, it's the recording of the, of, the, of the waves on the paper, by themselves actually. I just, I just arrange the situation, prepare, prepare everything to enable the wave to record itself. That's it. Why? It was the best place for it. I couldn't find a place for that sculpture and I really wanted at the end to have it there. And bronze, you know, I... My, my story, if simplified, is that I was eight years working with the cast metal, usually bro bronze or pewter and then eight years working with the stone. In a way, this black woman out of stone is a modern woman. She's contemporary. You don't take into account the 19th century and even, you know, the sculpture is also the stand. Then, uh, with any media which seem, seemed to be appropriate for for the idea I was trying to follow or catch. And the bronze, uh, imagine that this summer after 20 years I was invited to kind of a closing symposium of cast bronze in Uherské hradiště in Moravia, Czech Republic. And I met there the friends from the old times, fantastic people. And uh, again, I was casting bronze. It's actually the last sculpture. This is the hands, this kind of two hands from the wall and three hands holding each other. Uh, so I, I somehow tasted, tasted what once I really loved from the depth of my heart. And uh, you know, this, this, this dealing with the, with the materials like stone or bronze or... It's something uh, very mysterious. So even if the material is maybe the least... The least... Uh, the least and last material, let's say, for contemporary art or it's really something which is so connected to bourgeois 